you can use a program called Kami to complete worksheets provided to you in Canvas. It takes a little bit of setup, but once you get it done, it's pretty easy to use, and this video will show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is add the Kami extension to your Chrome browser. And to do that, you go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Kami. Then you click this Add to Chrome button to add Kami to your environment. And you'll know it's finished. There's a little K up in the corner here that shows you that's available. So we're going to leave that alone for a while and come back over to our assignment in Canvas. In this assignment, the teacher has provided us with a worksheet that we need to complete and turn in electronically. So here's where the worksheet is attached. To download this worksheet, I am going to just click on the name of the file and you can see it over here downloading. We don't need to worry about that. As soon as it's downloaded, then we can go to our Kami extension right here. And the first time you use it, there's a little bit of setup, but the second time you use it, it won't ask you any of these questions. We always sign in with our Google account. That way it has access to your Google Drive. And when this pops up in a moment here, we are going to choose our name from the list of users. And scroll down to the bottom and allow rights. Kami is going to need to talk to your Google Drive in order to give you back the completed file. And the first time, it's going to ask you a few questions about yourself. And try to help you a little bit. The file that we downloaded from our assignment goes into Google Drive. So I'm going to open Google Drive and locate the file. And this is the worksheet that the teacher provided. Once the document loads, you can use these tools along the side over here to annotate your text or to type in uh, the answers to these questions down here. This is a highlighter right here. So you can pick a pink highlighter and highlight some text. like mine's blue. Oh, there it turned pink. Then green. So if you're trying to mark out different kinds of text, you could use different highlighter colors to do that. You can also grab your text tool right here and click right here and type And those are all things that you can move around, manipulate, edit until it's time to save. When you're completely finished and ready to save this document with all of its markings, you go up to the upper right corner and click this download icon right here. It's an arrow pointing down and the words pop up, so it's pretty easy to find. And then you're going to choose, how would you like to export? Choose Google Drive and then choose PDF with all annotations. That way you get the original document and all of your markups. You could change the name of the file here, but I think it's easy to um, determine the difference between the one that you annotated and the one that you didn't. And if you take this off, you, it'll be hard to tell which is which of those PDFs that it creates. And then we're going to begin our export. And the first time, again, we have to allow our Google Drive. It's taken a moment here, but we had to give permission for Google to talk to Kami, and now we're giving permission for Kami to talk to Google. Then you could open your Google Drive here if you really wanted to see if it was there, but all you have to do to submit this now is exactly the same thing you would do to submit any Google Doc. You go back to your assignment, Click Submit Assignment, go to your Google Drive, locate your file, and either double click or click the Submit button to upload it into Canvas. Then you'll need to click this Submit Assignment button. 
And when it's finished submitting, it will open up your assignment again and show you that you've submitted over here in the corner. Now you know how to mark up a PDF and submit it in Canvas using Cami. The next time you do it, it will go a lot faster because you've already allowed communication between Cami and Google Drive.